Hi guys, welcome to Fireflies.ai. I'm going to talk about the core features and how to get started with our platform today. Fireflies is your AI meeting assistant. Our AI, Fred, will join your meetings across various video conferencing platforms and capture them for you. It works by connecting to your calendar. It'll detect the meeting URL and join that video conferencing URL, whether that's Google Meet, Zoom, or WebEx, or any of the other video providers that you use. And then afterwards, it'll generate the notes and transcripts that you can look back at. In addition to just capturing and transcribing the meeting, you can go back and search through your meeting. You can share that recap with your teammates. You can also collaborate around the meeting and really skim an hour long call within five minutes and get all the key points and highlights from it. Here's some of the ways you can actually capture the meetings. One is you can invite Fred at fireflies.ai to a calendar event. We support both Google Calendar as well as Outlook Calendar. And you just invite Fred as a participant and our AI assistant will come join. Here's an example of the calendar events for both Google Meet and Zoom. As you can see, there's a meeting URL on that event and Fireflies will detect that and join the meeting based on the URL at the start of the meeting. When it joins the meeting, it'll request to join as Fireflies.ai note taker. And it's just another participant on the meeting. You can choose to kick it out. You can choose to leave it in, but you'll know when it joins. Another option is to set your settings so that Fireflies automatically joins your meetings. So this way you don't even have to invite Fred at Fireflies.ai. If you select join all calendar events with a web conferencing link, Fireflies will automatically detect the meeting URL and join the meeting and you don't have to manually invite it each time. And you can also configure it to only join meetings that you're the host of, automatically join meetings that are with your teammates or only meetings that you want with your external clients. So all those options are available in the settings where you can configure how Fireflies bot will join your meetings. Let's say you've already have a meeting that's in progress. You didn't invite Fred at Fireflies.ai and you don't have auto join settings set up. What you can do is you can go to the dashboard and click add to live meeting and then you can put in the meeting URL and then click add now and then Fireflies will join that meeting. If you're using a platform like Zoom and the meeting has a password, just make sure it's formatted so that the password is included in the URL and Fireflies will be able to join the call within one to two minutes. Specifically for Zoom and Google Meet, you can invite Fireflies directly from within those platforms. When you go click invite participants and then you click invite by email, you can select that and select Fred at Fireflies.ai and Fireflies would join that meeting that way as well if you're in the middle of a meeting. Let's say you don't even want to deal with inviting Fireflies or having the bot join the meetings. You can use our Fireflies Chrome extension and record and transcribe the meeting directly from your browser. This works great for platforms that we don't natively support today. And it also just adds a lot of flexibility because you can also pause in the middle of the recording and unpause and capture right within the browser and see like what's happening. Let's say you already have existing audio files. You can upload MP3, WAV, or M4A files directly to Fireflies in our app.fireflies.ai slash upload, and then have those transcribed. If you're using Zoom on the pro or business version of Zoom, and you are recording directly within Zoom, you can connect to our Zoom native integration, and then any call that's recorded through Zoom will automatically get processed through Fireflies. You don't have to deal with inviting the bot or the Chrome extension. This is just a more native integration to Zoom that we have today. After the meeting, your recaps will be in your notebook, and you can also invite your teammates so that all of your teammates' meetings are shared and saved in one workplace with your team and easily searchable. After the meeting, you can also receive the recaps of the meeting so that you'll know when it's done processing and you can actually go back and review through it. You can search through the transcript, like I mentioned before, across like keywords, key topics, and identify really important parts really quickly. We also have smart search filters. These AI filters will surface up action items, next steps, questions, dates, times, other important information. You can also create sound bites of key moments from the call. So if there's a snippet of something the customer said that you really like, you can highlight it and create a sound bite and just, then just share that sound bite. This way you don't have to share the entire meeting with your team, but just the most important parts that they can go back and listen to or review. You can also leave comments at specific parts of calls and there'll be a timestamp marked with it that your teammates can go back and jump to. This is great for providing on the spot coaching to say your sales reps or uh, to your new hires and it helps with onboarding people really, really quickly. 
and you don't have to deal with long follow-up emails and you know Slack messages. You can just do it directly from Fireflies. You can also flag important parts of calls, hit a thumbs up, thumbs down, put a pin, and then when you share that recap with your teammates, they can just go and click on that and listen to that part of the call and jump to that part of the transcript. To configure who gets the recaps afterwards, you can do that in settings and you can configure it so that only you get it or you and your teammates get it or only the participants that were on the invite that get it. And Let's say you shared the URL, but you also want to configure who actually has access to the URL when they click on it. You can go to the individual meeting and then there'll be a globe icon. You can change that and select if you want anyone with the link to share it or you only want your participants to see it or your teammates to see it or only you and you want to make the meeting private. And you can also change the default settings of the recaps in the settings page where you can configure it so that the default settings is only teammates or only you. And this will just give you more optionality and control over who can actually view the URL when it's clicked on. Let's go through integrations that we support today. So as I mentioned, the Fireflies bot can join your meetings across almost all of the major video conferencing providers, whether that's Zoom, Google Meet, WebEx, Teams, Skype, Google Meeting, most of the ones that you probably use at work. The dialer integrations that we have will automatically transcribe calls that are recorded through those platforms, whether that's AirCall, RingCentral, Outreach, FreshCaller, SalesLock. For the Chrome extension, you can basically capture almost any platform that you're having the meetings through the browser for. So that could be all the video conferencing plus more, as well as virtual events and even the telephony tools. As long as the audio is happening through the browser, Fireflies will detect both your audio as from your mic, as well as the audio from the tab and capture that. After the meeting is processed, we have apps that you can push the data to. So we have CRM integrations where you can push the recaps and transcripts to Salesforce, Pipedrive, all the major uh, CRM platforms. You can also push them into your storage systems like Dropbox and Box, and you can also push it into collaboration platforms like Asana, Trello, Slack, Microsoft Teams Chat, so there's many places where you can push the recaps to afterwards. The way Fireflies detects where to log into your CRM is based on the participants on the calendar invite. It'll look at their emails and then it'll go find that company, find that participant and log the recap under that person. The nice thing about our storage integrations is we have a two-way sync, meaning you not only can share and export the transcripts into let's say Dropbox, but you can also select a file or folder. And if you upload audio files into that folder, Fireflies can receive them and process them. So we have a two-way sync where you can send audio our way or you can push transcripts back into uh, platforms like Dropbox, OneDrive, and Box. For Zapier, same thing. You can upload audio through Zapier. You, if there's any app that we don't support today, um, but they're sending audio over through Zapier, we can process that and then push it back in there. As I mentioned earlier, we support Outlook and Google Calendar. But on top of that, if you're scheduling meetings through Calendly or X.ai, we support integrations to those so that as long as there's a meeting URL or video conferencing URL on those invites, Fireflies will process those calls for you. So that's a quick overview. I've probably covered all the main things around the collaboration features, the transcription, the search, and the integrations. And if you have any questions, reach out to us at support at fireflies.ai. And if you want to learn more information about our platform, you can uh, check out help.fireflies.ai and all the guides are there as well.